Hi everyone, and this is Andy with Blongo.com. In this video, we're gonna create a function that creates a team folder in Zoho Work Drive. This folder is gonna be automatically attached to the attachment section in the Zoho CRM record. In the description, there is a link where you can find the written step-by-step -step tutorial, as well as the code that we're gonna to use today. All right, let's get started. In this video, we're gonna create a team folder. If you want to create a normal folder, that is gonna be covered in the next tutorial. The steps are similar, but the function is slightly different. Here we have a deal, and when we move it to close one, we want to create a team folder in work drive. Also, we want to attach the team folder to the attachment section for easy access. The first step is to create a connection. I have the connections tab open right here. Let's click on create a connection. Choose Zoho OAuth. The connection name is going to be CRM underscore work drive. Now let's go to the blog post where you will see the scopes. Scroll down. And here we have all the scopes that we need to add to the connection. Make sure to add them all. So back to the CRM. And I'm going to add all the scopes really quickly using the magnifier to search for them. Okay, this is the last one. So we're gonna click on create and connect. And on connect. And finally on accept. All right, we have created a connection. The only thing you need to remember from it is the name. The next step is to create a function. So let's go to the functions tab and click on new function. Let's name it. and the category is gonna be automation. Click on create. The code is in the blog post, so let's open it. Here it is. So I'm gonna select it and copy it back to the CRM. And we're gonna paste it right here. Now we're gonna replace this text that says your parent folder ID with the work drive folder ID where we want to create a team folder. So let's open work drive and all team folders will be under the main folder called team folders. If you click on it, you will see the folder ID on the URL. It is this one right here. We're going to copy it back to the function and replace the text. Before we continue, I wanted to mention that we created a Zoho one course for admins. So if you're interested, check out the link in the description. Now I'm going to briefly explain what the function is doing. We want to name the folder using the deal name. This section counts the length of the deal name, and if it is longer than 40, it cuts it. We are doing this because there's a maximum number of characters that you can use to name the work drive folder. In this line, we're creating the folder name. Next, we are creating the team folder. The parameters of the function are folder name, parent folder ID, which comes from up here. The description is mandatory, otherwise this function won't work. Then we have to determine if the folder will be public or not. In this case, it is public. That's why it says true. Finally, we have the connection name that has to match with the one we created earlier. I also included this code that you can use if you want to add other users to this folder. This is helpful if the folder is set to private. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment below. The last section of the function is attaching the link to the attachment sections in the CRM record. In this case, it will be attached to a deal. One more thing, we need to add an argument. So click on edit arguments, deal underscore ID is a string, click on save. All right, the function is ready. Feel free to test it out before adding it to a workflow. In my case, I know it works, so I'm gonna save it directly. The last step is to create a workflow that will trigger this function. I have the workflows rules section open in this tab. Click on create rule. The module is deals. Name the rule. Click on next. Here select record action. Edit. Specific field gets modified. When the stage is modified to the value. Close one, next. This rule is gonna to apply to all deal. Next, and the action is gonna be function. 
Now click on new function. In this box, click on functions and click on configure next to the function that we just created. It is this one right here. This is the parameter we're passing to the function. So let's press pound. Module is deals and field is deal ID. Click on save and associate. The workflow is ready, so let's save it. We can now test if the automation works. Let's go back to the deal and refresh the page. And now we're going to move the deal to close one. Refresh the page one more time. And now we can see that we have a new attachment. It is the work drive folder. If we click on it, the folder will open on a new tab. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please click the like button. If you're a Zoho admin and would like to learn more about how to integrate the different Zoho apps, we made a Zoho One course where we go over how to configure and integrate the top 10 most useful apps. Check out the link in the description for more information. Thanks for watching.